Hi everyone, Rebecca here from One Fantastic Find. Today I wanted to give you a brief overview of how I use my time management inserts from Filofax. I currently have these in an A5 red Finchley. Uh, so let's walk through the inserts. Uh, I, I don't really want to go over the interior, but in case you're wondering, that's just a, a nickname I have at work. Uh, the first today ruler opens up to the current monthly two day, pay, uh, two day month per page spread. It, um, I modify the monthly inserts to include holidays, birthdays, etc. Then at the top, you'll notice that I have girl of all work tabs. Those highlight, or I should say those, um, allow me to quickly turn to this month's uh, project planning spread. I did not use the interior of these spreads. I used the exterior just to get, because this is a vertical month, um, just to get an idea for planning when projects would release. And that way I could transfer this information to my weekly pages, which you'll see in a, in a minute. So I was able to do this for every month for the entire month, or excuse me, for the entire year of 2014. So all of these are, are filled out. Then this last page is a whole year spread out and I have all the different um, release dates that I needed for my projects. These are vacations in blue and holidays are indicated with orange. Uh, then you probably will hear my grandson making some noises in the background, but don't worry, he's just entertaining himself. Then I have a today marker that will lead me to the current week. So these are the time inserts that, uh, time management inserts from Filofax. Uh, I purchased them, or I should say someone from the UK helped me to acquire them from the Filofax UK store when the store was getting ready to close. They can be purchased on eBay UK, but I have not yet seen these for sale on eBay US sites. So you would have to go to the eBay UK site and then from there uh, order them and see if they'll ship to the US. So I wanted to go over how I use these inserts, but since this is this upcoming week, I wanted to kind of go back to a previous week so I could show you how I arrange it. So on the right hand side is my schedule. Very rarely there are um, five slots for you to enter time. Uh, timed appointments in. A lot of times I will write in this little spot here an event that is happening such as a birthday or a holiday. Let me see if I have one. Like I have a, a release date here. Uh, a lot of times I'll put holidays in here. I don't know. I think the next holiday is July 4th. So, um, oh, and they're not marked. But I used to have stickers that would indicate a holiday on last year's insert. So I put the timed event, the little markings over to the right indicate if I took, uh, if the meeting took place and if I took notes for it, meeting minutes for it. So if they were canceled um, and not moved, I put an X. If they were moved, typically I would move it uh, with an arrow pointing that, um, that it was moved. Over on the right hand side is where I transferred all that detail from those project planning pages into this upper right hand section. It helps remind me what I need to do for that particular um, update because I have to constantly update a um, kind of like a tracking sheet, sheet so that everyone knows where we are in the development of materials. Then um, there's a note to enter my time, which is no longer valid. Uh, I don't have to do that anymore, yay. And then reminder emails uh, using, or that are recurring things. So this is the phone, write, fax, email section. I only have to, um, I only put things that are a recurring event. So my PPM thing should have been down here, but since this is no longer applicable. Hi guys, my grandson is uh, watching also and getting a little irritated with me because I'm not paying attention to him. Over on the left hand side is where I put my to-dos. I add to this throughout the entire week. So this is a weekly to-do sheet. I uh, then mark if it's been done or if with an arrow, I mark that I had to move it to the following week. Sometimes, so as I said, 
I mark whether it's been done. If I couldn't get it done this week, I put an arrow and over to the left, sometimes I'll put a note like I where I am in the process of it. For example, I emailed to follow up on this, but it did not get answered yet, so I moved it forward. Uh, one item was a follow-up, so I marked it as complete, but it was denied, so I put a note here that, that we didn't do anything with it because the, the, um, the item was denied. So I put check marks. If I completed the task, I put the arrow to move it forward and um, you know put notes on the side. On the bottom left corner is where I document my um, accomplishments for the week because they are tracked on a weekly and then monthly basis. This is where I record my accomplishments. I know I'm repeating myself, but my grandson is interrupting. That's okay. Uh, anyway, so since these are tracked, I keep track of them for my other coworkers so that I can report on them. In the expenses area, I don't really put anything. I had I put a note for myself to talk to somebody about these two items. And then down below is some uh, items that I needed to do that were related to work, but they weren't project related. So, so this was, we have an, a meeting in April. I needed to book the hotel. So I got that completed. I do use the pilot friction pens in my planner. So I have a blue one and a purple one. I, I don't really know why I choose one color over the other on any particular day. Uh, I quit. To, uh, I used to color code them with like appointment times or appointments were in blue and, and tasks were in purple, but, um, I kept losing track as you can see and I don't care anymore. So it just, um, it turns out to be whatever pen um, is handy. So then what I do is I take all these little arrows that have been pushed forward and I move them to the next week's pages so that when Monday starts, I have already a working task list. In addition, on Fridays, I will put my next week's schedule. Sometimes if the schedule, for example, this one doesn't start until 11 a.m., I will leave a, a space open just in case somebody pops in a meeting in there um, early. Those are those notes that I carried forward from the planning pages. They're in there, and they are in there for every single week uh, to remind me of what needs to be done that week. So those are pre-given, plus my, my reminder emails. This will be filled in as the week progresses and my accomplishments are uh, uh, calculate or you know are documented so I put them down here and again uh, not every area is filled out uh, but most of them will keep continue to carry forward so I have notes about things to do on a certain week etc but for the most part uh, I don't have anything filled out in any of the other sections. As far as my other sections, I have a list of current projects that I'm working on. Uh, I need to update this section with a better working system for me. This uh, next divided section is notes about projects and they're grouped by the project name. So I have, uh, I keep a running tally of discussions or meetings that were held on those. And then the back area is extra pages for meetings on projects and then blank paper is in the last tab for taking notes. I have an empty uh, Ziploc pocket, but I don't really use it. And this does not really go anywhere uh, because I work from home for my job. I do have this added little post-it note, um, little flags, but again, I haven't really used it. And that's pretty much my work setup using the time management inserts. I do have some little star flags in here, which I use to document what month we are currently on. But uh, if you have any questions about how I use the time management inserts, uh, feel free to ask and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.